Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will look into some of the doubts which have been raised in the telegram group by the viewers. First doubt is to determine the direction of the rotation of the uh, rotating MMF or rotating flux. And second one is what is the relation between the flux and the MMF. And next one is how to determine the direction of current flow or the direction of motion of the rotor using IL cross B or QV cross B formula. So let us see these doubts one by one. Now first we will see the direction of rotation. We got that the armature reaction MMF in the air gap came out to be 3 by 2 F max cos omega t minus theta d okay now you see at theta d is equal to 0 and omega t is equal to 0 the value of f a r is equal to 3 by 2 f m cos 0 that is 3 by 2 f m now again if i take a value at omega t is equal to 120 degree and theta d is equal to 120 degree then the value of armature reaction mmf in the air gap is 3 by 2 f m again similarly at omega t is equal to 240 and theta d is equal to 240 we still get armature reaction value as 3 by 2 f m now from these three relations we can see that the mmf wave is having the maximum value maximum possible value whenever omega t is equal to theta d that is omega t is equal to theta d so at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 the, uh, the value which was maximum was at theta d is equal to 0 now where is theta d is equal to 0 here along this line that is the axis of phase a so at t is equal to 0 the maximum value of armature reaction mmf was along the axis of phase a now at time t is equal to 1 by 20 120 degree by omega that is omega t is equal to 120 what is the position where we are getting the maximum armature reaction mmf it is theta d is equal to 120 degree so i can say that at this time that is after zero at this time we will have the maximum value at theta d is equal to 120 degree now theta d is equal to 120 degree is this and what is this this is the axis of phase b so i can see that from 0 at t is equal to 0 it was along the axis of phase a now at t is equal to 120 degree by omega it is along the axis of phase b similarly at t is equal to 240 degree by omega 240 degree by omega it will again be in the direction of axis of phase c so you see that the armature reaction mmf is going from axis of phase b a to phase b then phase b to phase c then it will come again to phase a so in this way we can see that the armature reaction mmf is rotating in the direction from phase a to b to c that is from leading phase to lagging phase in this way we can determine that the direction of rotation of armature reaction mmf can be found now one more thing from this we have observed from these relation this first relation second relation we can observe one more thing what is that thing let us take first the value of ia is equal to im cos omega t ib is equal to im cos omega t minus 120 degree 
एंड आई सी इज इक्वल टू आई एम कोस ओमेगा टी माइनस टू फोर्टी और प्लस वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो फ्रॉम दिस वी विल सी दैट वेन एवर दी वैल्यू ऑफ करंट इज मैक्सिमम द आर्मेचर रिएक्शन एम एम एफ मैक्सिमा इज लाइंग अलोंग दैट फेज एक्सिस ओनली दैट इज एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन आई ए वॉज मैक्सिमम एफ ए आर वॉज मैक्सिमम अलोंग दिस ऑफ फेज ए सिमिलरली वेन ओमेगा टी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री आई बी वॉज मैक्सिमम एंड एफ ए आर वॉज लाइंग अलॉन्ग थीटर डी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री दैट इज अलॉन्ग दी एक्सिस ऑफ फेज बी सिमिलरली एट ओमेगा टी इज इक्वल टू टू फोर्टी डिग्री इट वॉज लाइंग अलॉन्ग दी एक्सिस ऑफ फेज सी सो इन दिस वे आई कैन सी वेन एवर दी मैक्सिमा ऑफ इफ फेज करंट वॉज देयर दी मैक्सिमा ऑफ एम एम एफ वॉज लोइंग लाइंग अलॉन्ग दी एक्स ऑफ द सेम फेज दैट इज वेन एवर आई ए वॉज हैविंग मैक्सिम वैल्यू एफ ए आर वॉज हैविंग मैक्सिम वैल्यू अलॉन्ग दैट फेज ए एक्सिस सिमिलरली वेन आई बी वॉज हैविंग मैक्सिम वैल्यू एफ ए आर मैक्सिमा वॉज लाइंग अलॉन्ग दी एक्सिस ऑफ फेज बी सिमिलरली वेन आई सी वॉज हैविंग मैक्सिम वैल्यू देन द मैक्सिम ऑफ एफ ए आर वॉज लाइंग अलॉन्ग दी एक्सिस ऑफ फेज सी so in this way we can see that whenever the current is maximum the armature reaction mmf is also maximum along that axis only now in this way i have cleared this doubt the direction of rotation of the mmf now there is one more thing here in this diagram i have shown that axis of phase a is lying here axis of phase b is lying here and axis of phase c is lying here what if i change the position of b and c such that that the axis of phase b comes in this direction and axis of phase c comes in this direction then what will be the direction of rotation that is presently axis of phase a is here phase b is here phase c is here A axis, B axis, C axis. Now, if I change the placing of the coil such that the direction of axis changes, that is, A axis is here, but this is C axis, and this is B axis. Then, what will be the direction of the rotation of the mmf wave which will be created by these currents it is easy to find out mathematically also mathematically i can find out using this f a is equal to f m cos theta d cos omega t f b now will be equal to f m cos theta d plus 120 degree cos omega t minus 120 degree because here it will be plus and it will be minus now fc is equal to fm cos theta d minus 120 degree cos omega t plus 120 degree now by adding this i will get the formula f resultant is equal to 3 by 2 fm cos omega t plus theta d this will show us that the direction of rotation has changed but again directly i can also see that as i already told that the direction of rotation is from leading phase to lagging phase so current in this phase is leading then this so it will move in this direction in this way we can easily determine the direction of rotation and we can also change the direction of rotation just by changing the phase sequence here i have changed the physical position of coil but the same effect can be achieved if i change the phase sequence or the phase connection only that is i have connected instead of phase b here the phase c and from phase c i have changed here to phase b just by changing the external connection of the phase that is i have changed the phase sequence and in this way i have changed the direction of rotation of the armature reaction mmf which is present in the air gap 
Now next come to the relation between phi f, phi and f that is the flux and the MMF. We will see in the next slide. In circuit theory or electrical machine, we will study that the flux can be given as MMF upon the reluctance of the magnetic path. This is sometimes known as the Ohm's law of magnetic paths or magnetic dimension. So we also write 1 by R as the permeance of the magnetic path. So we can write that flux can be written as permeance into the MMF. Now this depends upon the magnetic path. And this depends upon current only that is Ni number of turns and the current. So we see that the relation is very easy between these two. But here you see we have assumed a cylindrical rotor. So magnetic path is uniform in every direction. So this is kind of constant in every direction. And it is just Ni. So we can see from here that the flux phasor will be in phase, will be in phase with MMF phasor or the current phasor. Now we have already seen that the MMF is a rotating space vector but it is seen as a phasor when we look it from some of one of the axis of some phase in the uh, machine. So this MMF phasor and current phasor are, are in phase just by this relation and phi will be in phase because of the uniformity of the air gap. But in cylindrical rotor machine, but sorry, in uh, rotating, sorry, in uh, salient pole, uh, salient pole rotor machine, we will see that in salient pole, this is the shaft, and this these are the poles, and this is the air gap. So you will see that here, here in this location air gap is low but in this direction air gap is high so the permeance offered by the magnetic path is different in these two direction this direction is known as d axis and this direction is known as q axis or quadrature axis this is direct axis and quadrature axis because of this difference i will have to resolve these two flux phasor in two different direction. One will be direct axis, other will be quadrature axis. And because of this, the phasor of flux will not be in phase with the MMF phasor. But we will see that in detail when we will study electrical machine. Here we have assumed only cylindrical machine for learning the basic concepts which will be required in the study of the power system. So in this way, we can easily find the relation between flux and the MMF. Now in the next slide, we will try to use these formula to determine the direction of the EMF or the motion of the rotor. Now let us take a machine in which poles are cre created like this. Let us say this is the rotor where poles are being create created like this and it will create a magnetic field like this. Okay, now let us say it is moving in this direction, rotor is moving in this direction using some prime mover, I am using some turbine or engine or some other thing to move this rotor in this direction. Now let us say there are these two cross section of the windings, these, there are conductors in it, these are the slots in, in which conductors are placed. Now I want to know since I am moving this by some external medium, I am putting some mechanical energy. 
Now I want to know that in the stator windings, how the EMF will be generated, what will be the direction of the EMF generation so that I can take out the power from it. You will see that the direction of B, direction of B is like this. Okay. Now, if I use the formula Q V cross B. So, what is the V here? It is the velocity of the charge and this is the direction of the flux density. Now, for this flux density, which is in this direction, although this flux density is rotating, but for this flux density, if I want to see from the frame of the flux density, the conductor will appear to move in this direction. So what will be the direction of the generated EMF? This is the direction of motion of the charge and this is the direction of the field. So the current will be induced or the EMF will be induced out of the board plane V and B out of the board plane that is it will be pointing towards the re reader now here here I have determined the direction of EMF here I will find that the direction of EMF will be away from the reader so I can see that the direction of the EMF induced or if I take current from this will be in this direction now you will see if i uh, that if i use the same concept here i will find that a will be having current pointing towards the reader and a a dash will be having current pointing away from the reader it will be dot and it will be cross now you see that the flux created by the AA dash winding will be in the direction of will be in this direction. Now flux created by rotor is also in this direction. We see the, that we are having some additive polarity here. So that's why for mathematical analysis I have used Lange's law with a minus sign is equal to minus of d psi by dt since the direction given is in the form of additive polarity but in transformer it is taken as reverse polarity that's why i take e is equal to d psi by dt now this was the case for generator now let us take a case for the motor now let us take the case of the motor here I have shown the stator winding like this and it is carrying a current in this direction that is it is pointing towards the reader and it is pointing away from the reader okay so this winding will create a flux this winding will create a flux in which direction it will create a flux in this direction okay now I have also shown the direction of current in the rotor which is being given from outside from some DC source. So current will go from this and away from the reader in the longitudinal slot. Now it will return from the longitudinal slot and it will be in the direction towards the reader. Similarly here again away from the reader and towards the reader again away from the reader and it will come outside. So what will be the direction of force on these conductors which are in the longitudinal slots. So you see that the current in the longitudinal slots is away from the reader. So I will use this formula I L cross B. Okay. So I L cross B will give me what, what will be the direction? It will give me the direction like this. Uh, from inside to outside that is the direction will come in this direction that is this conductor will experience a force in downward direction if if I take this horizontally it will be exactly downward now here it will be like this so we see 
दैट इफ आई टेक दिस सिनेरियो इन विच द करंट इन द स्टेटर वाइंडिंग इज लाइक दिस एंड द रोटर इज हैविंग करंट इन दिस डायरेक्शन देन द फोर्स ऑन द रोटर विल बी इन दिस डायरेक्शन दैट इज रोटर विल रोटेट इन दिस डायरेक्शन दिस ऑल्सो शोज दैट इफ आई चेंज द डायरेक्शन और रिवर्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस करंट इन द वाइंडिंग स्टेटर वाइंडिंग देन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेशन विल बी सेम एज दैट ऑफ जनरेटर सो इट गिवस अस ए आइडिया दैट इफ आई यूज द सेम फॉर्मूला फॉर जनरेटर एंड मोटर जस्ट विद अ चेंज ऑफ साइन इन द करंट देन द सेम फॉर्मूला कैन बी यूज फॉर जनरेटर एज वेल एज मोटर एंड वी नीड टू जस्ट चेंज द साइन ऑफ द करंट सो इन दिस वे आई थिंक दैट दीज थ्री डाउट्स विल बी क्लियर टू एवरी वन नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी विल डिराइव द मॉडल ऑफ द सिंक्रोनस मशीन दैट इज वी विल डिराइव द इक्वलेंट इंडक्टेंस एंड रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द मशीन नाउ इफ यू फाइंड दैट दिस लेक्चर इज हेल्पफुल टू यू देन इट इज रिक्वेस्टेड दैट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब and share our youtube channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of a new video as and when it is uploaded and due to this action motivation is also there for us to create new videos again and again we have also created a telegram group which is open to all for doubt discussion which will uh, uh, which will be helpful to you and the link of that group is given in the description of this video any doubt which is uh, given in that group we will try to take up in the either in the video or directly on the group thank you